What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Something inside me said, I don't know if they're roaring. Hair and makeup? Because 2020, the decade that we have barely now scratched, Camel. I'm going to pair it with, maybe you know what I'm going to pull out of the, well it's not bag, but less confined, leaning into winter, maybe not go back to the norm. Let's get to it. This is part of 2020. Lounge wear, business top, everybody was wearing. Nestling in their homes. This color, if you know me, this color is just, and this is what I found. Tone. Jeggings, put some runners on. So comfortable. Sweat denims. <laughs> rummage through a whole bunch of items I found an all day wear. Perfect. Going out, you're at home and you want to stay comfortable. Today we have come to the end of thrifting the decades. We are thrifting the 2020s. So the 20s, I don't know if they're roaring, but I, <laughs> when I went thrifting, I rummaged through a whole bunch of items. I found perfect pieces for this video because 2020, the decade that we have barely now scratched, has been a very unique one. I don't have to tell anybody why it's been unique, but that is what inspired me when I went thrifting for this particular decade especially the past almost two years now. And maybe you know what I'm gonna pull out of the, well, it's not bag, but maybe you know what I have to show. And they are literally items that I will be wearing regardless of the continuous situation or not. So let's dive in. Can't wait to show you what I got. Now, before we dive in, I do wanna point out that in some parts of the world, this situation is still heavily going on. In some parts of the world, it's less confined. But these are still items that I hope will inspire you to maybe not go back to the norm, whatever norm that was, and allow this situation build a new norm for you, your family, and your everyday life. Let's get to it. First item, I found this in the men's department. It is a dusty rose hoodie. Now 2020 was a year, even 2021 was a year when a lot of people weren't going out that much. Obviously there are people that had to go out and socialize with people or at least be around people and others were able to stay home more. But loungewear skyrocketed. Everybody was at home, most people were at home, a lot of people were at home. And I think hoodies, leggings, comfortable wear was something everybody was wearing. And that being said, I found this perfect hoodie. Now, even though it's a men's hoodie, it's still, I think it was a small, yes, small. And this color, if you know me, this color is just, it's my color. It's one of those, either it's the peachy tone that I love or the dusty kind of rose color. Now, this is a piece that, yes, I could wear it at home, but I definitely could wear this maybe to the movies to go have pizza what are the things that we used to do any hoozy i wanted to pair this with something equally as comfortable and this is what i found these are a pair of jeggings they're no that's not the right word okay so they are denim pants that are also kind of like a jogger sweat pant feel to them. They are stretchy. They're perfect length for me. I don't know if these are a kid's or a women's, but this with the hoodie doesn't get any more simpler than this. Put some runners on. 
maybe even my Steve Madden's. They're perfect. The stretch is amazing. And that's what you want with the lounge comfortable wear that everyone <laughs> was gravitated towards and still is. Well, I am. So this is what they call athleisure wear and it's right down my alley. So comfortable, yet stylish, right? We're digging into the 2020s hard with the hoodies and the sweat denims. <laughs> the idea is that you could go from your home to the store without changing your clothes. It's an all day wear. Now the second outfit I put together, I, um, <laughs> I had to because those of us who were working from home had this combination. Maybe we still have that combination where we're wearing a business top and a pajama bottom. <laughs> so hear me out. I found this satiny flowy top that is business enough for at least the business that I conduct <laughs> and it's simple now for the bottom of this outfit I'm going to pair it with these pajama bottoms they have these <laughs> lace bottoms and it is a velour These are the pants that you want to stay seated while you're conducting your business, but also you're at home and you want to stay comfortable. I think these are super duper cute and both of these items, even though I might not technically wear them together, I just had to make this ensemble because that's what people were wearing in 2020. And I wanted to pay tribute to the age of Zoom, where people were nestling in their homes while conducting business. Now for my last and third outfit, I am not 100% sure if this is part of 2020, but I found a jacket that is absolutely stunning and I wanted to include this stunning piece into this video. And I think it's appropriate, especially, well, yes, for 2020, the decade, but also the season that we're in, fall time, leaning into winter, and it is a Marco Polo camel wool jacket I found for nine euros. It's absolutely stunning, and I think it's appropriate for 2020. I think this is appropriate for all of the decades that we have covered here. I could see a 70s style, 80s, 90s, maybe even early 2000s, but definitely 2020 fall. This is a stunning staple piece, at least in my wardrobe. The camel color is so versatile. I could even wear the hoodie underneath this camel color. I think this is a dress up or dress down type of piece item. But for this look, I did want to thrift a cozy sweater, maybe even a turtleneck. And I found a great stunning piece that is a dark blue with some lovely gold detail buttons in the front. This blue color, blue in general, if it's not denim, I kind of shy away from and I almost didn't get this, but something inside me said that it's going to look really good with the camel collar and I have to agree that this is such a nice 
fall, super simple, classic, with some small, cute details. All that's left is hot chocolate with marshmallows. Now that we have come to the end of our Thrifting the Decades, I hope you enjoyed this series. I will make a playlist if you haven't seen the previous decades. They will all be listed in the playlist link below in the description. I would love to hear what your favorite decade of this series or in general was. Please leave a comment or comment below what you think we will be wearing in 2030. I hope you enjoyed this video, the thrifted items throughout the decades. I started in the 70s. Technically, that was the first decade I existed in. <laughs> Remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now. <laughs> Hair and makeup. <laughs> Tone. Camel. <laughs> Sensei. <laughs>